you're up. So with the advent of pensions going away over the last few decades, really, um, people have been forced to become their own fiduciaries basically through 401k plans or 403b plans. Now, what's a fiduciary mean? Fiduciary. That means I'm. you have to take care of your money. So if we're your fiduciary, we have to take care of your money like it was our money if we were in your same situation. But doesn't everybody have to take care of their own money? No. No. Why is that? Most people, uh, when they're in a 401k plan, as an example, they're making their own investment decisions. They are their own fiduciary at that point in time. And, and, it's, uh, and this is a very important point, distinction that Dean is making. So when you, when you look at the financial services industry, about 90% across the nation live in a world of suitability. So it could be somebody at a brokerage office that's saying, here's a great mutual fund for you to buy, or here's an annuity you ought to consider, or you know, here's some, here's some investment. 401k is no different. Right When somebody brings a 401k plan to you, and this gets to be very, very confusing for people sometimes, when somebody brings a 401k plan to you, the fiduciary exists inside of each mutual fund inside of your 401k, but only to that particular unit, not to you. They don't pick up the phone and call you and say, Dean, I think you should have 22% in this asset class and 18% in this. And oh, by the way, based on current tax code changes, you should move some of that money around. In the suitability side, they're not allowed to do that. And when you're functioning as your own fiduciary, that's your job. That's your objective. Um, In Dean's case, my case, that's what we do professionally, where we make that decision for you based on your goals and objectives. All right, back to you. So when we're talking about order of funding, one of the things that works in our world today is a lot of people work within a business that has a 401k plan or some kind of defined contribution plan. Difference contribution plan versus a defined benefit plan, which would have been a pension from the old days. Most companies today still offer some kind of a match based on the amount of money that you are willing to put into your fund, into your account yourself. That money is what we like to call free money. You like free, free money, money Joe? Mo- free money, good money. Free money is good money. So anytime you have the opportunity and the ability to save funds for your retirement, if you have a plan like that available, that is probably your first source to go to at least make sure that you are uh, putting enough money in to get the total match. Some some companies will match you up to 3% dollar for dollar. Some will even go as high as 6 or 7 or I've seen a few at 10 or 12. That is a fabulous amount of money that you cannot pass up. 